today we're going to compare the past continuous that we learned last class with the past simple. Now you should already know the past simple because you're at this level, but just to be sure we will practice so we can be more confident which one do we choose, right? So let's start there. Let's take a look back on what we did last class. So remember for past continuous, we're looking out for words like when and while. Remember if you have when, then the past continuous come first, then there's an interruption and a past simple. With the other one, you have a past simple interrupting while you are doing something else, all right? So that's when and while. Remember, you can also use past continuous for very, very specific timed events in the past, all right? So you wanna talk about um, when you lived in Spain and what you were doing there, or where you used to go to school and what type of activities you were enjoying there. And of course, double actions in the past, two simultaneous events, we use past continuous. But all those are past, when would I use past simple? Well, that's what we're gonna be practicing today. When do we use the past simple instead of the past continuous? So I'm gonna share my screen and we're gonna take a look at that, all right? Now the past simple in general has about five uses. Right? Remember past continuous is usually used for one, but the past simple has more general uses, right? We think of it, first of all, as the ED ended verbs, right? This past event happened and finished. So all we need to remember is add ET, ED to our verbs, but we have to be careful because verbs in general change when you add ED. And of course, one of our most common irregular verbs is the verb to be. In the past tense, the verb to be looks like this. I was, he was, she was, or it was, but for you, we, and they, we say were, all right? You're gonna see this again, especially for questions. You're gonna see the same thing for did. Did is the past tense of do, all right? So remember this when you're asking questions. And of course, have is also pretty, pretty common, but it's also irregular. It goes to had. We have a lot more irregular verbs. Try to remember them. Now in general, as I mentioned, most verbs, verbs in the past, they end with ed but how do they sound? The pronunciation is different. If it's P, F, K, or S, it's a T sound. So it's looked or kiss. But if it's a voiced consonant, then we have D, like yelled, cleaned, All right? So we have that D sound. But if it's already a D at the end or a T at the end, then we have ID, all right? Ended weighted, right? All of these are different ways we can pronounce the ED endings. Structurally, it's pretty simple. We put our verb in the middle, so subject, verb, object, and in negative form, subject, verb, not, if it's a verb to be, and for the others, we say did not. What you need to pay attention to, though, is question form. If you're making the question with just the verb to be and the verb to do, then they go first. But if you have a question word, it's going to be where were you, for example, or what did he say? All right the question word still comes before these auxiliaries, all right? Try to remember those. But let's look specifically now at the uses of these. So let's start with you, Luis. Could you read use number one for us and the examples? The past simple is used to tell about a specific action or event that is to be again. again. And in the, mm -hmm. in the past, it is generally used with 
Adverbs of Time, Soch, mm -hmm. as last year, yesterday, last night. For example, Tom's stayed, 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 Tom stayed, stayed at, at home last night. Uh, Kate worked last Saturday. Uh, I didn't go to the party yesterday. Uh, did they walk to school this morning? Good. This right. morning? This morning, All right? So that's use number one. Use number two, help us out there, Conrad. Number two, the past simple, <clears throat> the past simple is used to talk about a series of actions that occurred occur in the past. For, ex for example, um, I received, received, received the good new, news and immediate, immediately and uh, call, call you. Called, called my husband. Husbands. The H in English does have us out. Husband. Husband. Mm -hmm. And he studied for an hours in the morning. Worked out of work. Worked. Works. Worked. Worked. With a T sound. With a K goes with a T at the end. Worked. Worked. Worked uh, all the afternoon and. During return home, you till ten at night. Until hot, ho, hot. Un, until until. All right, so you didn't return home until ten at night. Use number three. It's Ella. It's El Valdez. We also use the past simply for respect, action, or habit. Walked uh, five kilometers what? every day. Walked, what? 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 Five kilometers every day to work. All right, these are our habits in the past. So just like how we talk about habits in the present simple, habits in the past simple are the same. All right, number four. Let's take Carla. The past simple is also used for narrations or action that okay, excuse me used used right. mm -hmm. for a narration for action that occurred, occurred over a long period of time in the past all right just like used it's occurred example i work for many uh, example is work work for many years in the museum, mm -hmm. we share the event, eat meat for years. All right, good. All right, so those take us further back into the storytelling. And Ventura, now you. For things in the past in general, for example, Aztec live in Mexico. Live. live. The Aztec live in Mexico. And I play it, played the guitar live. when I was a child. A child. Child. All right, good. All right, so those are the uses for the past simple. All right, let's put the past simple to practice. All right, so let me switch my screen. And remember, guys, if you came into the room, remember to drop your name in the chat with your urgent group so we can record your attendance. Torres Lopez, let's start with you. Number one. Stop. Two P's. Stop. Stopped. The car mm -hmm. to take a picture. Good. All right. I studied for the exam for three hours. Good. Studied. Make sure to check your spelling. Number three, Dulce Sevilla. They were happy to be home. Sally. We. Uh huh. Sally, we're. Was because it's a. Sally was. Okay. He, she, it was. I was. Ah, uh, see, see, see. Was. Uh, disappointed. Disappointed. She was. Ah, uh, no. See, she was disappointed. 
disappointed she was. Oh. That's the past simple for miss. Miss. Mm. Miss. 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 The party. Right, full sentence. Sally was disappointed she missed the party. Sally, Sally was disappointed she missed the party. Missed the party. Number four. Number five now. Let's continue with Fabiola. Yeah, I, I noticed, Conrad. Thank you. Oh. Go ahead, Fabiola. Este, when, mm -hmm. when I was young, we always went to Florida for the summer. Good. All right. Let's keep it going with Ingrid. And, and didn't work last week. Good, he didn't work last week. Let's keep it going. Number seven, who haven't we had yet? Carol. Did you wash the dishes? I dreaming I could fly last night. All right, this is a tricky one. Dreamt. Dreamt. All right, number nine. Let's keep it going with Martha. We meet them at the restaurant. All right, also a pretty trick one. Tricky, tricky, tricky. It's irregular. Meet becomes met. We met them at the restaurant. All right. And Miroslava. Did you find your book? Find? Mm -hmm. All right. Remember, if it's a question or whenever you have an auxiliary, your verb doesn't change. Now, what about let's practice making some sentences? So I'll give you the clues you need to unscramble them. So let's continue now with Danny. Um, I, I swam Good. in the sea mm -hmm. at beach. At the beach, correct. All right, next one. The children played mm -hmm. in the park. What did they play? Football. They played football in the park. Football in the park. One more time, the children played football in the park. The children played football in the park. Good job, all right, let's continue. Number three with Ray. Um, D2. Mm -hmm. uh, two case, fine. All right, remember, it's auxiliary verb, then your subject. Then do. Then, then your verb. Do. So, did you find. find your keys? Repeat. Did that you did. find your keys? All right. Number four. Ah, uh, that's horrible. All right. Write it in the chat. And Salma, while while he's writing number four, Salma, you do number five. Mm, she didn't. Mm hmm. Mm, go to school yesterday. Good job. She didn't go to school yesterday. And let's see what Ruby has. Go ahead, Ruby. Write it in the chat. Was. Was. Mm -hmm. He. Mm -hmm. The meeting. The meeting. At the meeting. At the meeting. One more time. Was he at the meeting? Was he at the meeting? All right. Good job, Ruby. Did you see it? Did you write your answer? Let's continue with number seven. Vinay, Vinay remember to unmute your microphone. Mm -hmm. Hi. Yes, go ahead. Um, we... Mm -hmm. We went... Good. Uh, to uh, uh to uh last. All right. No. Mm, no. We're describing the restaurant, so I think the uh, good should go first. Repeat. Restaurant. We went to a good restaurant okay. last night. We went to a good restaurant last night. 
right. Number eight, you can't write and talk at the same time, Ocampo. Yo? Yes. Okay. You're the only Ocampo here. Hay otra. No. Okay, you're you're the, you. uh, he didn't study mm. for exam. He didn't study for the exam. Repeat. No, eso no había visto él. He didn't study for the exam. All right, let's check to see if Christian had written anything. All right, simple rules, guys. Think of the past, think specific, think of the time expressions. All right, so if it's finished, completed, in the past, like yesterday, or last month, or last year, then we will use the simple past. All right, let's see what. Christian has. We left our bags at the hotel. All right, nuestros. En este caso sería maletas, but bags also works. All right, we left our bags at the hotel. Close, you're close. And I will send you this link as well so that you guys can practice on your own. Now let's try to compare. When do we use the specific finished event or when do we use the continuous past event? All right, let's switch now to our Jeopardy game. So we're going to be playing a big game. The rules are simple. Choose a category, then choose an amount. For example, past continuous for 300 or past simple for 100. Right, choose a category, guys, and we will practice. Sorry for you, Kristen, because you won't be able to practice a lot because your microphone isn't working, but pay attention. Let's start with Torres, Torres Lopez. Pick a category and choose an amount. Today, Torres Lopez, did you lose your microphone as well? All right, she took forever. Brenda, jump in, you get to choose first. 300, all right, past continuous. Remember for past continuous, guys, you need your verb to be in past tense and your action verb in ing. Okay, his dog barked. Nope, it's past continuous, not past simple. His dog, his dog was barking. Was barking. All right, repeat. His dog was barking while he whistling a uh, song. He was whistling. I forgot the was. Sorry. All right. Next one. Dulce. 100. The past simple. Past simple. All right. Try to remember mm -hmm. your irregular verbs and how to conjugate them. Yesterday. This dog. Is run? Past of run is mm -hmm. ran. All right, repeat. Yesterday? Yesterday needs to run after his girlfriend. Good. All right. Next one. Um, 300 past simple. Hmm. Soon going to Busan. Past simple. Went. Remember, so, ING is only for continuous. Soon went to Busan last month, mm -hmm. she could hear food on the beach and had to get stitches. Mm -hmm. All right, all right, let's continue. Choose one, Fabiola. Um, 100 pass continues. All right, pass continues for 100. And bring your verb to be and ing. When, when you tell it, tell it. Were telling. Don't forget your verb to be. When you were telling that scary story, I was sleeping on the couch. On the couch, exactly. All right, let's continue. 200 past continuous. All right. Don't forget your verb to be plus ing. I don't care what you doing no where's your verb to be remember guys you need 
your were um, and your was. All right, again, I don't care. Okay. I don't care what you were doing. I want to know why she was stealing my makeup. All right, let's continue. Valdez, Valdez Guevara. Uh, two hundred fun past simple. Past simple for two hundred. Mm -hmm. They checked. Nope. Teach is irregular. Alisa, how to taught. Taught. Right. Jane taught Vanessa how to cook a pie, pie. but she pie. spoiled it to mm -hmm. yesterday. Pie. Yesterday. To yesterday. Again, pie. With a P. Pie. All right. And spoiled. Pie. Spoiled to yesterday. All right. Be careful with your pronunciation. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Ventura. Continuous one. Oh, okay, past simple versus past continuous. All right, remember, guys, when you see while, the first one is past simple and the second one is past continuous. After while, past continuous. What happened, Ventura? The doorbell rang. No, ring it's it? irregular. Rang. Why? All right, again, the doorbell rang. The doorbell rang while I was taking a shower. Good. All right, let's keep it going. Um, 400 plus continuous. All right, get your practice in. Don't forget your verb to be, then your ing. I Sara was reading. Mm -hmm. Reading. Kristen <laughs> was reading. Kristen was uh, watching TV. Exactly. All right. Past simple for 100. Past simple for 400. Go. Alexis felt bad yesterday because she didn't teach well. Because she didn't teach well. All right, let's keep it going. Keep it going with Conrad. Mm -hmm. well, why he was talk, talking? Talking. All right, good job. Next one, Luis. Um, interrupted is the 100. Interrupted for 100, All right? Remember, when you have two events, if while is at the beginning, after while, past continuous, and then simple past. Well, I, well, while I was type, my reporting looks Electricity. ING. Word, ING. Don't forget the ING. You remember the was, but you forgot the ING. While I was typing my report, the electricity went off. Repeat. While I was uh, typing my report, the electricity went off. All right. Battle of the Marios. Alberto. Uh, 200 continues. Past simple and past continuous. Remember, before while, simple past, simple past. But after while, then comes Mr. ing. Mm -hmm. Mr. and Mr. Davis. Mr. Uh, and Mrs. Davis. Mrs. Davis was tripped. Tripped. No. Simple past, simple past, while past continuous. Try again. Mr. and Mr. David tried and feel while they were dancing. Tripped. Tripped. Um, past simple, past continuous. Uh, 300. All right. You have one cause. So this first guy is going to be past continuous. And this guy is the result. Past simple. Yourself was driving. Too fast, that's why he had a car accident. There you go, there you go. All right, after Mario, it's Martha. Um, past continuous, 
400. All right, pass simple, pass continuous for 400. Same thing. One cause, one effect. Past continuous, simple pass. I was mm -hmm. listening mm -hmm. to my iPod, so I was... Didn't. It's negative. Ah. Try again. I was listening to my iPod, so I didn't hear the fire alarm. All right, let's keep it going. Let's keep it going with Miroslava. 500 past simple. 500 for past simple. All right. Remember your irregular verbs. Um, last night, my soccer team uh, lost. Nope. Lost. Nope. Last. You're All a right. drunk team. All right, again, last night my soccer team lost the game by one point. So last night my last night my soccer team lost the game by one point because I won I was sad, I drank too much soju. All right. Too much. Too much. All right, when you can't count it, you use much. When you can count it, you use many. Danny. Mm, surprise for 300. All right. Be surprised. Facts mm. in the past. What do we use? Past simple. Good. Uh, Michael fell asleep in class last Thursday because he was bored. There bored. you go. Ocampo, back to you. So, Aura. Mm. And past continues mm -hmm. five hundred. All right, the last one in past simple past continuous. All right. Result. Remember, if it's before while, it's past simple, and after while, past continuous. My sister was ripped her no, pen. Just ripped. Uh -huh. We only use the was for the ing. Go again. My sister striped her pants while she ripped. was exercising. Ripped. My sister ripped her pants while she was exer exercising. Good. All right. While she was exercising. Let's keep it going. Reynaldo. Surprise. And um, two country. All right. Let's see what's here. Emily was? No, this is a fact in the past. Emily painted? Uh-huh. Her room green because it's her favorite color. All right, those are facts from your past specific events. Ruby, uh, your microphone doesn't work. What can I do? Salma. Mm, yes, teacher. Uh, two, one hundred. Interrupt. 200 interrupted. Yes. yes. Mm. All right. Before mm. while, pass simple. After while, pass continuous. Go. Timothy uh, getting. No. Pass simple. Timothy mm. will a uh, black A will he was. Fitting with his earphones last night. All right. Don't be that girl from is uh, and be fighting. All right. Be careful also with your microphones. Salma, that was you. So next up is Tylee Vidal. Um, three three hundred interrupt. Interrupted for 300, go. Remember, before when is past continuous, after when is past simple. It's the opposite of while. Joseph is studying. Studying. Yesterday when he's got what? No. 
When his cat died, he was... Nine. Joseph was studying yesterday when his cat died. Exactly. Right, and... Four hundred... Um, surprise. Surprise for four hundred. Right. Um, Something is happening hus- in the past. My husband cook- cooking. No. Cook- was cooking. Don't forget your verb uh, to be. Si, cooking. Again, my husband was Dinner. cooking dinner yesterday at 6 p.m. Okay. My husband was cooking uh, dinner yesterday at 6 p.m. All right. Now we have three last ones. Four. All right. Open to anyone. So go ahead, guys. Just say me. Open your microphone and tell me which one you want to practice. Don't be shy. Anyone. Me? Me. Yes, Alejandro. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Surprise 100. Go ahead. Right. Road. It's an irregular verb. Mm -hmm. Her bicycle five kilometers yesterday. She was really tired after what? Good. All right. Anybody else? Don't wait for your neighbor. Just say me and choose a category and fine. Just me and Alejandro. Next one, Alejandro. They don't want to try. Okay, teacher. Uh, Surprise 500. Let's do it. Let's keep it moving. Surprise. Last night at... Last night at 10 p.m., Candy was talk. Talking. Come her, on. Uh, talking. Talking. Yeah. Talking Again? to her boyfriend. Last night at 10 p.m., Candy was talking to her boyfriend. All right. We have two more. Anybody else wants mm-hmm. to try? All right. The other, that's Luis, mm-hmm. or is that mm-hmm. Alberto? Go ahead. Uh, 400 interrupted. All right. 400 interrupted. Past simple before while, past continuous after while. He was lost? No, past simple first. He lost his wallet while. He lost his wallet while he was a joint in the park. Chuck, chuck, chuck. Exactly. And Luis, you were trying to open your mic as well, so you get the last one. I interrupted 500. <laughs> Mm-hmm. After a while, present continuous, past continuous, sorry, and then past simple. Mm, while she was cooking, the telephone, is the wrong? Rang. Rang. <laughs> while right. she was cooking, the telephone rang. All right, good guys. Remember to study those irregular verbs so you know them by heart. And practice so you remember when to differentiate the past simple with the past continuous. Forum 2 is open, but try to finish up all of the parts in Unit 2 first and then attempt to write and record your podcasts. All right? That's it for today, guys. Go enjoy your long weekends. If you have any questions, you know where to find me. 